In this video, we'll have a look at a powerful new set of opt-in form templates. And I wanna show you how you can turn any Thrive Leads opt-in form into a call to action instead. Hi, I'm Shane from Thrive Themes. And the new opt-in form templates that we've added to Thrive Leads are for the scroll mat style opt-in form. So as a reminder, a scroll mat is the kind of opt-in form that if I reload this page here, it appears from the top of the content like this is, it pushes the content down. And then I can either engage with this form or I can scroll down to get back to my content or I can click this arrow to get back to my content. That is the scroll mat style opt-in form. We just saw one of those templates and here's another one, a very simple, minimal template like this. And here's another example, another one that uses an image. And then one more example, we have several new templates like this. And they are all scroll mat templates and they all have one thing in common. Like you can see here, this is a two-step opt-in. So it comes down, it covers the screen and it makes some kind of an offer. And at first, there's just a button on the page. As a visitor, I can go, yes, I wanna read this. And then it shows me an opt-in form. So we're combining the power of the scroll mat with the power of the multi-step opt-in form style. This can, of course, be a great way to get more leads for your mailing list, but that's not the only thing you can do because if you think about it, any opt-in form is really all about grabbing someone's attention. So whether it's a scroll mat like these or a light box or a widget or anything, an opt-in form inside your content even, it's all about trying to get the visitor's attention to something that's important. And often the important thing you wanna get attention to is the opt-in. However, if we go back and look at one of these templates, you also have here a template for something that can be a very powerful call to action. And it doesn't have to be that the next step is an opt-in form like here. I wanna show you how you can use these templates to create a call to action instead. So for that, let's go into the editor for one of these templates. And the way it works, the way these multi-step forms work is that you have your default state, which is what we're looking at right now, and it just has a button. And then it has a second state, which is the opt-in state. That's how it works. Now, if we look at the default state, uh, we click on the button and we click on the event manager option right here, here you can see we have an event associated with the button which is on click switch to the opt-in state. But I can just get rid of that, I can remove this and close it and then just go to the link settings on this button and add a link here. So any link to absolutely anything. And then instantly we have a scroll mat that instead of showing an opt-in form links to something. And so you can think about what is important, what is something that is important to get more clicks to. That could be anything, that could be maybe a special offer, that could be a really important announcement. It could even be an affiliate link, maybe there's a limited time coupon deal or something and you're an affiliate for a product and you just wanna get a bunch of traffic through that affiliate link. Then having something attention grabbing like a scroll mat and sending it to an affiliate link can be a very powerful strategy. When you're in Thrive Leads, when you're editing a scroll mat and you look at the opt-in form templates available. You can find all of the templates we just looked at in this video and a few more if you go to the multi-step templates tab right here. Here you can find all of these templates and all of them have the potential to either be a multi-step opt-in form or a powerful call to action. These templates are available immediately in the latest version of Thrive Leads and I hope you enjoy them and get a lot of use out of them. Let us know what you think and if you have any questions just leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Today's random behind the scenes question is, if you were a cat, what kind of cat would you be? Um, I'd be a cool cat. I'm not, I'm not a dirty kind of cat. I feel like, I feel like if I were a cat, I would not be concerned with my personality in any way because cats don't roll that way. Leave it rolling for a second. Let's see if I can <laughs> come up with anything else to say about this. So the five-year-old in me also wants to say that I'd be a tiger. Although, <laughs> and, and, and like the, 
the my age me wants to say that I'd be a jaguar because for some reason I feel like a jaguar is cooler than a panther uh, or a tiger. I'm not, not entirely sure why, but yeah.